Simplifying radicals. We're going to break this up into two parts. This is going to be part A of video number 37. We have uh, this property here, the square root of AB equals the square root of A times the square root of B. You're going to need to use that for simplifying radicals. Uh, perfect squares, 4, 9, 16, 25. You do not have to memorize this. You can create it. What's 2 times 2? What's 3 squared? What's 4 times 4? What's 5 squared? 6 squared? 7 squared? That's why they're called perfect squares. Square root of 18 equals root 9 root 2. Okay, we're using root 9 because 9's on our list. Square root of 9 is 3, so the answer is 3 root 2. Square root of 48, 16 times 3 is 48, therefore root 16 times root 3 equals root 48 according to this property. Square root of 16 is on our list. Square root of 16 is 4, 4 root 3. Now, you could have also done this using 4 and 12 instead. It's just going to take you longer. Root 4, root 12 is going to give you 2 root 12. Hopefully you recognize that 12 divides by 4, and then you're going to change this root 4 to that 2. Bring this 2 over here. You're going to have 4 times root 3. You're still going to get 4 root 3 as your answer. All right, let's continue here. Square root of 10 is already simplified. Yes, square root of 10 does equal root 5, root 2, but neither of those are perfect squares. That's why you leave the answer as square root of 10. Square root 150 equals root 25, root 6, which gives you 5 root 6. Square root 25, 25 is a perfect square. Uh, root 700 is 10 root 7 because of the square root of 100. Square root 72, you're going to use 36 times 2. Yes, 9 times 8 is 72. But guys, if 9 works, try 36. Just like if 25 works, try 100. If 4 works, try 16. It'll just be faster if you just do it this way, 6 root 2. If you did nine, root 9, root 8, it's just going to take you longer. You're going to have to do a lot of extra work here. All right, root 20, you're going to use root 4, root 5, which gives you 2, root 5, and we're all set. This is part 1 of the video. Please come back and join us for part 2. Thank you.